Walker Percy's Lost in the Cosmos, the last self-help book, is a unique and thought-provoking exploration of the human condition, blending elements of philosophy, psychology, and satire. Published in 1983, this book challenges conventional notions of self-help literature by delving into the complexities of human existence, alienation, and the search for meaning in a chaotic world. Percy employs a distinctive approach in Lost in the Cosmos by presenting the book as a self-help guide that is simultaneously a parody of the genre. He recognizes the desire for self-improvement and introspection inherent in individuals and society but critiques the superficiality and self-indulgence often associated with self-help literature. Through a series of thought experiments, fictional dialogues, and satirical quizzes, Percy engages the reader in a deep exploration of the self and the cosmos. One of the central themes in the book is the human capacity for self-deception. Percy argues that individuals often create elaborate facades and engage in various forms of escapism to avoid confronting the fundamental questions of existence. He presents fictional case studies of individuals who are deeply entrenched in their delusions, highlighting the absurdity of their lives. This critique serves as a reminder of the dangers of avoiding self-awareness and the existential questions that lie beneath the surface. Percy's exploration of alienation and disconnection is another prominent theme in the book. He contends that modern society, with its emphasis on consumerism and entertainment, has led to a sense of isolation and loss of meaning. Through fictional dialogues, he illustrates how individuals seek refuge in distractions like television, alcohol, and romantic relationships to escape the void within themselves. These portrayals challenge the reader to reflect on their own lives and the ways in which they might be avoiding genuine self-discovery. The book's format includes a series of self-help quizzes and questionnaires, which are laced with humor and irony. For example, Percy presents a questionnaire titled The 20th Century Self-Evaluation Test, which pokes fun at the notion of quantifying one's worth and identity through a series of arbitrary questions. This satirical approach exposes the absurdity of reducing the complexity of human existence to a set of numerical values. Percy also explores the relationship between science and spirituality, challenging the prevailing assumption that science can provide all the answers to life's questions. He suggests that science can explain the mechanics of the universe but falls short in addressing the deeper metaphysical and existential inquiries that trouble the human psyche. By juxtaposing scientific explanations with philosophical and theological perspectives, Percy encourages readers to consider the limitations of a purely scientific worldview. Throughout the book, Percy adopts a Socratic method of questioning to stimulate self-reflection. He invites readers to engage in a philosophical dialogue with themselves, prompting them to confront their own beliefs, biases, and uncertainties. In doing so, he challenges the reader to move beyond the superficiality of self-help clichés and embark on a more profound quest for self-understanding. In conclusion, Lost in the Cosmos, the last self-help book, by Walker Percy is a thought-provoking and satirical exploration of the human condition. Through a unique blend of philosophical inquiry, humor, and irony, Percy critiques the superficiality and self-deception often associated with self-help literature. He delves into themes of self-deception, alienation, and the quest for meaning in a world filled with distractions. By employing a Socratic method of questioning and presenting fictional case studies, Percy encourages readers to embark on a deeper journey of self-discovery and introspection, challenging them to confront the complexities of the self and the cosmos. Ultimately, Percy's book serves as a reminder that true self-help goes beyond simplistic solutions and requires a genuine engagement with life's profound questions.